Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and in the search bar, search for the BigQuery. Just have to come over here and search for the BigQuery. Click on that. Okay. Now just simply come on the task number one. Copy this query. Click on this OK. And just simply click on Editor and run the query over here. Once you get green tick, simply click on Run. Okay, now just simply scroll down and one more thing guys, for example, if you just copy any query and if you are getting any kind of error, so just refresh the uh, page and uh, again paste the query because sometimes query is not properly loaded. So maybe because of that, you might face that issue. So if you just simply click on check my progress for task number one, you will get a score. Now just copy this, click on this plus icon and run the query over here. We got a green tick, simply click on run. Again scroll down. Click on this check my progress. If the query is executed, we will get a score. Now just come on the task number three. Just simply scroll down, copy this query, click on this plus icon, run the query over here. And once you get a green tick, simply click on run. Again scroll down, click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. If the query is executed. So it's executed now. If I just click on check my progress now, I will get a score without any issue. Now time for task number 4. So we have to just create one data set. So just copy this name. Do not copy this full stop. Okay. Now just click on this three dot. Then click on create data set. And just paste the taxi. And click on create. So you have created the data set also. If you just click on this down arrow. From here you can just check. Now if you just simply click on check my progress. You will get a score without any issue. Now time for task number 5. So just simply scroll down. Copy this query, click on this plus icon and paste over here. Okay, now just wait. We got a green tick. Now, if we just simply click on run and just simply scroll down and click on check my progress, if the query is executed, we will get a score. Otherwise, we will get this kind of error. So, no need to worry about that. Once the query is executed, we will get a score over here. Now, if you just simply scroll down and copy the query of task number six and click on this plus icon and if you just run over here, you will get this kind of error. The reason is behind that this query is not properly executed. So just wait for to this query executed. After that, when we run this query, we will get output without any error. So just wait for a couple of seconds and let's see. So the query is executed properly. Now if I just go back to the, my next query and just copy this query and again just paste over here. You can see I will get a green tick. And now just simply click on run. And if you just simply scroll up and check the score for task number 5, you will get a score without any issue. Okay. Now just simply scroll down. So we have done with this query. Okay. So now if I just simply scroll down and click on check my progress, I will get a score on task number 7 without any issue. Issue. Now just copy this query, again click on plus icon, paste the query over here and just check we got a green tick, just simply click on run. And now we got a score for task number 8 also, if the query is executed. If not, as you can see we got an error, no need to worry about that, once the query is executed, as you can see it's executed now, if I just simply click on check my progress, I will get a score without any issue. And that's the way, now just simply scroll down. No need to do all the stuff, okay, because we already got a full score for this line. If I just scroll down and click on this check my progress, I will get a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.